Aha! There we are. A very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClue, and it's Hogmanay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Bash. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And uh, we're here well into the bells. So there you are. So come and see the bells in with me. Never mind all that nonsense of the telly. Get that turned off. Any other radio stations, get them turned off as well. And come and join me, Scotty McClue, live on the big one. Facebook Live, we're global, we're right round the world, and we're delighted to have you with us. Lots and lots of you joining us. That is absolutely excellent. Now, don't panic, of course, because we are here till the bells. And uh, maybe a little bit afterwards as well. So there you go. Who knows what will happen? The beauty of this program is that you can give greetings to people throughout the world. So there you are. All you need to do is take the URL for the Facebook page and say to your relatives, here you go. You'll get us on that. And come on and actually do your greetings. Very, very important that. You know, don't forget. Don't, don't wait till the bells. Don't wait till after the bells. Or you'll never ever get on so use this well and use this wisely if you've just joined us and you're wondering what's going on a very very warm welcome to you you're watching scotty mcclue and uh, here we've got alex robertson i hope you have a wonderful new year scotty i hope to see you in the new year says alex bless you alex thank you very much one of our finest young actors there in pantomime in motherwell uh, only an excuse is about to start so looking forward to joining you scotty i hope you have a good one Yes, you'll be watching that, I understand, although you could record on any excuse and come and join Scotty McClue. But we'll catch up with you later. Eric Britton there, excellent stuff. Julianne Scott, hello, Scotty. Hello, Julianne, well done. Did you manage fine, realising it wasn't nine o'clock tonight? Dinky-doo and all our love from the family in Bonnie Montrose, Robert McHardy. Excellent stuff from McTrose and uh, a lovely part of the world, McTrose. He used to spend many a lovely evening walking on the beach. So there you are. A stunning, stunning beach at McTrose. And uh, in the dusk and in the dark and all the rest of it. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, VJ is with us. Good evening and a happy new year, says VJ. Well, we don't normally wish people a happy new year until after the bells, but there you are. And uh, we've got Ian Johnson, Andy McCrory, Craig Matheson, Brian Kissick. Davy Martin, all the best from the Great White North, Sudbury, Ontario in Canada. It's Baltic. I miss the rain in Greenock, says Davy. Davy Martin, are you the Davy Martin? No. And uh, I'm from Montreal, Scotty, says Mark Simpson. Excellent, Mark. A wonderful, wonderful part of the world. So if there's anything particular you want to watch the telly, then record it. And, uh, of course, then the telly can go off and come and join me, Scotty McClue, for the Hogmanay Bash. Proper Scottish stuff. God and Elric's watching. Uh, hello, Scotty. Happy New Year. I hope you're well tonight, says Brian Kessick. Absolutely, Brian. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Doo, I say. Happy New Year's Eve, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Very, very clever, Steve. No flies on you. Yes, Happy New Year's Eve. Happy Hogmanay. Uh, I hope you all saw the video this morning that recorded out in the wilds. Oh, the wind when I was recording that. You'll actually hear it on the recording and there's a couple floating about there's one from instagram and uh, there's another one floating about and they're just about a minute long but the whole thing was about two minutes so there's another one floating about to so see if you get the full version and uh, kevin mcdonald lovely to have you with us angie thompson dinky do robert mcmillan is with us you're watching scotty mcclue the first lord of the internet the world's top broadcaster on hogmanay live with the scotty mcclue hogmanay bash Thank you to everyone who joined us for Christmas last week. What a fantastic show that was. And thousands upon thousands have seen it. So there you are. Marvellous stuff. Ian Hornby's watching Dinky Doo. Happy New Year's Eve. And the wind blew. Big Santa down in Motherwell Town Centre. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So there you are. Poor old Santa. Alan Leslie Lumsden. Dinky do to you. Happy Hogmanay, Scotty. Says Ian Johnson. Jim Wilson's there. And Nigel Wally. Now, a lot of you tell us what you're doing. Are you out at an hotel? Are you out at the pub? Are you um, in your house? 
Are you watching telly? Are you watching Scotty McClue? Obviously, if you're watching, if you're not watching Scotty McClue, you might not be able to answer that. So do let us know what you think about that. Can you say hello to Louisa, Scotty? So Steve Burrows, of course I can, Steve. Hello, Louisa. And dig you do from Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. And a very happy Hogmanay. Good evening, Scotty. I'd like to wish my colleagues, the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, and all our other emergency service workers, we're working tonight, keeping us safe. A happy and safe new year. And there's more, Andy, but I'm not going to press see more because my problem with that is I lost the broadcast once doing that. And I've got, I've got other computers around me here. Uh, we're dinky do, we're at home watching, says Viv Thompson. And four beautiful kisses. Mm -hmm. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, Jerry Carter's watching, Stuart Anderson, Angie Thompson. I'm watching in the house because people are letting off fireworks and I don't like them. Well, I've just walked the dog and I met a lady walking her dog and she said fireworks were about to start so we thought we'd better get a step on it. So I explained to the dog, he's a very brilliant Labrador. I said, fireworks? And he thought, oh, home, home for the bonio. Uh, Scotty, did you know there's no war started in the decades with the number 18 in it? 18 was the end of wars, the 1418 war, the war to end all wars. The only trouble is, 20, 21 years later, yes, 39, they were at it again. There we are, Charles McLachlan, Scotty, are you having a wee dram? Well, I do have one to see the bells in with, but uh, I've been off the sauce for two years, so I have uh, a lovely cup of tea with me. <laughs> which is rather lush, rather lush. So there we are. Uh, Happy New Year, Scotty. The only bottle we are bringing in is a hot water bottle for the bells, says Robert McMillan. Um, so excellent stuff. Scotty, are you having a wee drink? Yes, I've just read that, Charles. Excellent stuff. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, and we're with you through to the bells. So great to have you with us. And uh, soda water and lime for us, says Angie Thompson. Yes, there seems to be a lot of people not drinking. And, of course, people that are working. I mean, I worked a lot of New Year's Eves because Scotty McClure's Hogmanay Bash was massive on the wireless. Big, big radio program. And, as I say, the Millennium one, uh, which is now 17 years ago. So there we are. If Neil's watching, he'll remember it. The two of us on at the Millennium. And we uh, united. We combined three massive radio stations uh, in the Midlands, the Northwest of England, the Northeast of England. And uh, we put them all together and uh, had a tremendous party for the millennium. Terrific. Uh, Sugar-free iron brew. I'm sweet enough, says Mark Simpson. Absolutely, Mark. Nobody's arguing with that. So there you are. And uh, all the best, Scotty. Johnny M. Lynn is watching Dinky Do to you. Um, wonderful stuff. A very happy new year to you, Scotty. I love your broadcast. And long may you reign. Dinky Do, says Michael Purcell. Is it Purcell or Purcell? What do you like to say? Michael, send me another wee um, notification and pop on where the emphasis should be. Uh, having my wee dram, says Viv Thompson. Why not, Viv? If you like a wee dram, you have a wee dram. So there we are. And uh, I don't know what we've got here. Something funny from Susan. I don't know what it is. What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll delete that if that's okay, Susan. It looks a bit strange. Yes, so there we go. Right, we've got a, a funny comment here. Um, I don't quite know what's going on there, so I think I'll maybe just delete that. Right, that's fine. Okay, we're pressing on. Now then, uh, lots to talk about, so much to talk about. Can you wish Anne Tabana a happy new year, says Jonathan Welch. Yes, of course I can. There we are there, and uh, we'll just do that. Right, that's that one. Um, I'm having a wee bottle of, and it uh, mentions... A proprietary brand of booze and a whiskey, says Andy Hughes. I don't know that I would combine these two, Andy. So there we are. Sounds a little bit explosive, but anyway. Uh, Scotty, see if Queen Victoria married her cousin. How did she not get any stick? So there you are. And uh, Ian Walker, I, he always comes out with very weird stuff, Ian. Ian, you need to get these chips well off your shoulder. You're just wasting your time with that. I don't think you're a stupid man at all. I think you're a very clever man. 
but you're wasting your time with all these chips on the shoulders. You don't understand the monarchy. And I think that the way you've obviously got yourself geared up, it'd be very difficult to explain it to you. Otherwise, you'd just never, ever make these comments. So there we are. Fantastic. So there we go. We'll see what's going on here. I'm just trying to deal with something here. Yes, excellent. Now, um, I'm having, what was this one? <laughs> Very interesting. Scotty, a massive fire at the car park in the city centre in Liverpool tonight. Over 1,400 cars are destroyed. Tony, I hadn't heard that. Uh, if that is the case, then I'm very, very sorry to hear it. Um, Angie Thompson, uh, it's still P-E. I don't know what she's got there. Um, oh, yes, yes, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's still pinned, and she swore. So there we are, we'll sort her out. Don't worry about that. Uh, Michael Collier's watching. Excellent stuff. Right, I'll see if I can uh, I'll see if I sort that out for you. She's definitely gone, so don't worry about that. So there we are. If it's still pinned, we'll see if we can do something about it. People are an awful nuisance. It's always the wee minority, isn't it? The wee tiny minority that I like to see. Because we could take calls tonight, but do you remember when a boy swore and we thought it's just not worth it. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Right. Love you, Scotty. I still have a video of you. Yes, a VHS. They're amazing. I still have a VHS machine, and uh, we've played a lot of the Scotty McClue stuff on that. Very, very interesting. That was an amazing tape, and it sold thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Tremendous stuff. So there we go. And uh, like, let's see if we can deal with this. Yep. Okay. Is that it now? Have we sorted that? So there we go. Um, excellent stuff. Do let me know. Do let me know, Angie. Uh, if we've sorted that, Gordon, Happy New Year. When it comes, Scotty, loving the shows. Gordon McAllister, they are very much appreciated. And guys, can I say to you, it's a great privilege to do the shows for you because um, it's, it's very, very interesting. As you know, radio went through a very, very difficult period where it just turned into a jukebox, really, the same as the young people would have on their um, iPlayers and what have you. So radio thought they'd just follow that. And it has worked for a while. You know, they've obviously made quite a bit of money, the big companies. And also there's uh, less and less competition because they're just really two big companies and then a few individuals running radio in the UK. So obviously they can get away with what they want to get away with, take the personalities off and uh, do back-to-back -back songs, do the same songs, what have you, all that kind of stuff. And that's absolutely fine because that's their business. But uh, you can't fool all of the public all the time. And I think people are looking for personality programs. They're looking for personality radio. They're looking for interesting and entertaining radio and television. And as you know, I, I would either like to see this program on national radio or on television uh, because you've got the Internet now so people can pick up even smaller stations. So even if we put it on a, a smaller station to start with, and then grew the audience. Sorry, Scotty, can you do one more Happy New Year to Joanne? Uh, says Jonathan Welch. Of course I can. Joanne Card, a very, very Happy New Year to you when it comes. And a very happy Hogmanay. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're very, very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live. I'm just having a wee look round here for something I was going to uh, show you. But anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, so excellent. So we've done that for you. And uh, Peter Martin's watching, Dinky Do. Uh, love you, Scotty. I still have a uh, video done that one. Good morning, Scotty, from Delhi. Brian from Glasgow. So Brian is in Delhi. There we are. The capital of India. Fantastic stuff. And... Uh, it's gone, Scotty, says Stephen Weymouth. Good. Well done, Stephen. Thank you for that. Very much appreciated. It's away, Scotty, says Angie. Good. Um, some uh, midden uh, coming on, saying not very nice things and all the rest of it. We need to get the middens away. If they've got a problem, then that's their problem. They don't have to watch. Ooh. Uh, Gordy Skull's watching. Come on, Gordy, on you come, and let's uh, hear what you've got to say for yourself. Scotty. A Scottish tradition in Aberdeen is to run into the sea on New Year's Day. That's an old drover's tale. Sex-starved Aberdonians used to chase... Oh, away you go, Ian. I've never heard so much nonsense in all 
my life. So there you are. Ian Walker, you need to start talking sense when you're coming on here. Uh, does the missus make vinegar peas for the bells? Because I can't get mine right. Any hints? Ah, vinegar peas. Now tell us about the traditions. That Let's hear about these traditions. Very, very important. We've got the black bun and the shorty. And the black bun, of course, is the heavy fruit cake. The shorty, the shortbread. And I'll tell you what else I've got. I think I've got some of it round here. Tablet. Tablet. Scottish tablet. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Vinegar peas. Where has this one come from? And I'll tell you what else I got today. Because obviously uh, I hit the shops about maybe half four just before they shut. And I got some hot cross buns. They weren't actually hot because you, you heat them up. But hot cross buns, which are normally around at Easter. Can anybody tell me the background to the hot cross bun? So there you are. If you're watching throughout the globe, excellent. You're watching Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Scotty McClue, and we're with you. Vinegar peas. Who knows the background to the vinegar peas? Can we get on to that one, please? Very, very important. Excellent stuff. Also, can all of you, and I know it's a big ask, Spread the word about the Scotty McClue show. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. We're on every Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Tonight, of course, being Hogmanay, we'd have been on anyway, depending. doesn't matter what day of the week it is. And I did um, a few shows to catch up because we lost show number 61. It didn't get retained and um, we lost that one so i did a few to make up for that and thousands upon thousands upon thousands have seen that so thank you for that quite fantastic and thank you for all your sharing and for sending it around your groups that's how you build up a program and i'm also going to speak to the powers that be about some kind of um making sure there's no restrictions and stuff like that on this program uh, excellent stuff. I'm not looking for personality. I'm looking for the truth, says Gary Williams. Well, you'll always get the truth from Scotty McClure. You might not get a lot of personality, but you will certainly get the truth, Gary. So you've come to the right place. Wonderful stuff. Get the truth from the wireless. So if somebody says that song came out in 1964, you know that that song came out in 1964. You'll get the truth. And uh, excellent stuff. What are you looking for from your television and radio? Because I will almost guarantee that not everybody is getting what they're wanting from their media these days. Would you say that is fair comment? All right. Uh, if anybody knows about the vinegar peas, you'd better come on and tell us about it. All right, Scotty. Uh, I'm offshore and working tomorrow. I'll raise a glass, a cup of tea, and I wish you a happy new year just before I crash out. Lang me your lum reek, Peter Martin, absolutely. I was thinking tonight just before the program about the old Auld Lang Syne song, you know. For Auld Lang Syne, my dear, for Auld Lang Syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet. For all lang syne. That one, you know, a different song. Um, to for all lang syne. Da -da. Uh, where did you go, Scotty? You just seem to disappear, says Alan Leslie Lumsden. No, I think that would just be a, a blip on your internet, Alan Leslie Lumsden. McClue went nowhere. Paul Goodyear is watching Dinky Doo. Neil Tipping. Now, Neil Tipping was one of the finest wizards you could ever ask for. The Wizard of the Big Switchboard was the title of Scotty McClue's producer of the lovable lassie of the Big Switchboard. And they did the calls and kept the show moving. And Neil Tipping, one of my finest, finest lieutenants. Big guy. And, of course, we shared the millennium. So that was that we were actually on air at the Millennium. So, Neil, lovely to know that you're still there 17 years later. Wonderful stuff. 17 years since the old Millennium. And everybody was worried about, remember the Millennium bug? What would happen at midnight? And a friend of mine said, nothing. I said, I said why? He said, because I tried it. He said, I got a computer there. Put the clock forward, nothing happens. The, uh, the Millennium Bug and everybody was in a panic about it, spending fortunes, all the banks, things like that, because they thought everything would just tip over and empty in the Millennium. Uh, so they have, it's a bit like this Brexit stuff. You know, I mean, I could see 
absolute disasters coming with all that. But they're pressing on, they're pressing on with it. So there we are. A dinky do coffee from Peter Heed. I'm showing my age by staying in. Not at all. I would have thought staying in is the thing to do in Peter Heed on a night like this, because it must be pretty wild round about the tune. So there we are. Peter Heed, fantastic. And uh, the Broch, Fraser Bray. Ah, okay. And um, so that's the stuff. Scott, Scotty, Happy New Year. Uh, I'm on holiday in New Delhi. It's 5 a.m. here. And a Happy New Year uh, from here. Interesting. You certainly are, says Brian Dennis. Thank you, Brian. That is very, very kind of you to say that. I don't think there's many middle-aged Scotsmen broadcasting live on what we call the new television. So there you are. Uh, when you speak to people, I mean, obviously, it's not entirely true. It's become a bit of a saying. But when I talk to young people, they say, no one watches television, Scotty. No one watches it. So there, obviously, we're watching it tonight because there'll be things on that you want to see. But interactive is the way to go. What we are doing here, if a television company, if a, if a mogul is watching right now, and I know you guys do, so let's have it straight. You know, that's not messing. You big guys watch Scotty McClue because you want to know how this is done. And if I was, you know, 10, 20 years younger and an oil painting, then you would be falling over yourselves with wheelbarrow loads of cash to say, McClure, we want you on our television channel. Because what we want to do is do this live with the phones and get the people phoning in. So there you are, either radio or television. So spread the word. Because if you've got a radio station or you've got a television station, you need Scotty McClure to make your numbers work. And don't be afraid of phoning up because you might be amazed, right? If we're doing it, we're doing it, right? So don't think, whoa, he would want a fortune to do that. We don't have fortune. No, not the case, not necessarily, right? I wouldn't still be broadcasting if I wasn't interested in broadcasting, all right? So there you go. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, so wonderful. So, Brian, you're on holiday in New Delhi. Excellent stuff. Paul, good news there. Neil Tipping, come on on. Let us know how you are, for goodness sake. These 17 years have flown in. Where have they gone? All the best from Cowden, Beath and Fife. Happy, ho happy Hogmanay, says Viv Thompson. All right, you have to use a lamp spoon when you're supping with a fifer, I always say. But uh, excellent. And you're at Kirkcaldy and uh, Cowden Beath. And then you've got Kilty and you've other places. Bawiri, yes, and that sort of thing. Uh, Thomas John McDougall, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us, folks. You're watching Scotty McClure. It's Hogmanay. We are live. We're going to see the bells in together. This is interactive television at its very, very best. Fantastic stuff. See, there are millions of radio stations all over the world catering for every taste now. Traditional mainstream radio has had its day, says Tony K. No, Tony, any media platform has not had its day if it's got the right content, right? Now, bearing in mind, I'm doing a Facebook video here. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands saw that last week. And we don't know if that is in any way restricted, all right? So very, very interesting. If you get the right content and the people are interested, they will reward you with their viewership, yeah? Because so much that's on the box now, it is absolute nonsense, right? So there we are. So much that's on radio, there's no point in all these stations doing the same thing, yeah? So you've got that to look at as well. I'm going to have to turn down the old speakers here. Uh, we're getting a wee bit of feedback. Get a bit of feedback. There we go. Excellent stuff. Right. Come on. Calm down, you lot. Oh, I know what it is. Excellent. Right. There we go. Now, uh, who else have we got? So, yes, there are millions of radio stations throughout the world. But have they got the content? That's the thing. Um, out of the middens. Says Alan McMillan. Share, 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 says Andy Hughes. Um, oh gosh, Andy, you're quite right. We're past a share point. Time 
flies when you're enjoying yourself. It's absolutely crazy. It just flees in. So there we are. But you tell us what you like in your media. We had a photo together at the 2004 Scottish Cup final. I've been trying to find it and post it to you. But to no avail, says Gordon McAllister. Ah, Gordon, yes, absolutely. See if you can find it. I shall look for it as well in my archives. Ian Johnston, we may not agree with the monarchy. It's best left in a vote in an independent Scotland. Many yeses actually support them. This is not the time to discuss it. Well, I would say what we should do to do things the right way is get the royals on side and say, look, we want an independent Scotland, but when we've got one, you guys will be fine. There's no problem. Nothing's going to change because although we're splitting the parliaments, we're not splitting the crown. All right? You don't mess with the crown. That's really a given in this country. Otherwise, the independence won't happen. All sorts of things will be put in the way of it. But once it's got royal assent, because it would need to go through as a bill, the Independent Scotland Bill, you know, and then become an act when it gets the royal assent. All right, so there you go. Uh, have you got your call with you, Scotty? Now, Jim Wilson, this is very, very interesting. Jim's spot on here. First footing. And I saw an article uh, by the great Leslie Riddick, one of my um, former colleagues, a wonderful lady. So there we are. And I hope she's uh, watching tonight and I hope she's well uh, because uh, I know she's, uh, she's been through the wall. She's had a tough time, Leslie, but she's a fantastic journalist, incredible lady and um, great to work with as well. I mean, very, very professional. You don't... Uh, you know, you don't cheek up, you don't cheek up to, to, to La Riddock, I'll tell you that. But uh, she had an article the other day about first footing. And, you know, people have got their nose stuck in their phones to such an extent that perhaps first footing doesn't happen the way it used to do. And everybody used to go in and out each other's houses. And it went on till four, five, six in the morning. Sometimes lunchtime the next day. Now, what's the most obscure stuff you've had? Tell us some of your New Year's stories. I remember a guy saying your pals used to carry you until you recovered and stuff like that. Um, we'd, uh, what have we got? Yes, so the monarchy, sorry, to go back to the monarchy thing, I think, say, there is no problem. We're not even going there. It's a sideshow. It's, it's a distraction, you know. But when you get these neds, uh, you know, dissing the Queen of that and then hoping for an independent Scotland. Forget it. Forget it. Absolutely forget it. So there you are. Um, and, uh, I mean, I was getting uh, a lot of gob off a couple of louts in uh, in Coat Bridge today on social media. So there are a lot of gob from a couple of louts from Coat Bridge who were obviously very anti-monarchy, and I thought, it's not going to happen. You're not going to get your independence going on like that. Uh, Jennifer Jonathan's watching Dinky Do, Stuart Main. Lovely to hear from you. A big shout out to all our service personnel serving our country. I'm ex-army, says Brian Dennis. Absolutely, I salute you, Brian Dinky Do, and thank you for everything you did in the service of us and in the service of your country and in the service of the Crown. Uh, there's always going to be something that we'll eventually disagree with. No one's ever going to be always right with their opinions. Gary, you don't want that. That's why you have a program like Scotty McClure's, right? People say, oh, watch, don't, don't, don't have an argument. Why not? It's not a popularity contest, and there's nothing wrong with a good old debate. If you remember, I don't know if you remember the Scott FM shows, the Century Radio shows, the Red Rose Gold shows, the Hallam FM shows, the Viking shows... The magic shows tremendous, big, big debate with the people. That's what I do. So there you are. And so, of course, there's always going to be different opinions. I'm telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Mark Simpson. Thank you, Mark. Now, as I say, we're well over with our shares. Can every single one of you start sharing now? I'm going to share as well. I'm going to put you just at a wee bit of an angle. So please don't be annoyed. And uh, I'm just going to share myself here. So uh, there we are. We're getting on with the sharing. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue for the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Bash. See in the bells with me, Scotty McClue. Uh, once you've seen what you want to see on the telly, get it turned off and get on here, right? Uh, because if you think about it, television and Hogmanay, they have a very poor history. They have a history of disaster. 
every day complaining and complaining and complaining that's what you get after because they try and put a few pop bands on and things like that give people a traditional hogmanay i can tell you that we have the scottish dance music on i can't put it on for copyright reasons obviously but that's what we'd be doing we'd have the scotty mcclue uh hogmanay bash with a lot of scottish dance music and people would be up hooking and chicking so there you are uh, glad you're on tonight there's nothing on the telly says steve burrows there never really is steve have you noticed television tends to just be a lot of noise a lot of people shouting a lot of canned laughter so there you are that's the problem with it and um you know i can remember being on with massive massive audiences because there was nonsense about it's all nonsense about McClure. and why not why should there not be a bit of nonsense what is the big problem i'm just going to um share this to the Scotty McClue group. Now, I hope you're all members of the Scotty McClue group. It should come up on your page here. Um, I'll just pop this in. Here we go, guys. Um, share in a group, share in a group. Scotty McClure, excellent stuff. And uh, we went on to one group and the abuse that I was getting from it, from this one guy. It was obviously completely um, bananas. And he was shouting and bawling and what's who's this guy what does he think he is and all all that sort of stuff very very funny actually uh, so there we go right um and i'll put that in the group there's the scotty group excellent and uh, that should come up uh, there we go and we'll get that shared with you now join the group there's about um there's about three or four thousand people in it um and you'll enjoy it because there's always a bit of nonsense going on there uh, so there we are. Right, that's everything shared there. I'm just going to bring you all back over. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue with the Scotty McClue Hogmanay Bash. It is, of course, Hogmanay. No surprises there. Nothing gets past me. And um, we're expecting all your messages. Now, please don't wait till after the bells. We tend not to wish people a happy new year before the bells. So you can wish people a happy Hogmanay, happy new year when it comes that sort of thing tell 11 to tell 11 to tell 11 because you're late says angie thompson never late angie always on time john dunsmore's watching dinky do excellent stuff uh, scotty what do you think of global warming it's getting put on the back burner ahead of commerce serious question okay ian serious question i'll give you a serious answer did you see the guy in new york with the lady uh, from one of the big panels or departments or something and he was telling her that the ice is melting the polar bears are worrying uh you know the warming is going on blah 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 she said she wasn't familiar with the report and he said no because it's from the washington post of 1922 you know it was washington post of the new york times can't remember it's one of the biggies uh, in america and um, it was from 1922 now, I also remember a piece about how badly behaved young people are today. And it was written by somebody I don't think really understood young people. But it was written around 490 BC. Do you see where I'm coming from there? And the water's spread, but how's about a shout out to all our British Armed Forces? Brian Dennis, they will be watching because we are global. Uh, British Armed Forces, need to get this moving up here. We're making us all safe. So excellent stuff. Uh, when are you going to get back on the radio or better still television? I think I'll have to get a really good agent, to be quite honest. There's about a good 20 years' work in me yet, and we'll need to see if we can pick up a really good agent and uh, start getting people entertained. Uh, did you know Benny Hill? So Russell, no, I didn't know Benny Hill personally. I knew his work, of course, and it was outstanding. But they took him off the telly because they thought it wasn't politically correct. The thing is, it was funny why should stuff be politically correct obviously you don't want to cause deep widespread offense right so from that point of view but remember you can't give offense you've got to take it very very interesting so that guy that was shouting at me on that um uh, what do you call it that group uh, he had taken offense i hadn't given any offense it really was and he was saying foul foul things i hadn't said anything to him you know i was just sort of 
bopping along and ripping the mince, of course. Uh, give up the singing, mate, says Brian Dennis. Why? Uh, you know, I mean, I never said I was a singer, but why should I give up? Um, I watch mostly old stuff, Scotty, says Stephen Weirmouth. Uh, Markham and Wise, uh, Kojak, Columbo, Fools and Horses. I don't think today's stuff draws you in. Well, no, I don't think it does, because you see, what you what you had in television, the height of you had people like Lou Grade running ITV, um, or, well, running ATV, which was one of the big pivotal ITV companies, were 15 ITV companies. So he was very pivotal, as were the Bernsteins in Granada Television in the northwest of Manchester. Lou was in ATV in the, in, in the Birmingham area. And he brought us so much fabulous entertainment. Uh, you know, he, he, he had a guy in one time saying he did little puppets and things like that. And he said, um, no, no, nobody wanted that. But Lou Grade said, I'll take as much of this as you can give me. Because it was um, Fireball XL5. It was Jerry Anderson. It was um, Captain Scarlet and the Mistrins, Thunderbird, Stingray. All these things that as young people we were brought up on Sunday afternoons watching Stingray. Tremendous. I can still remember all the characters in it. Troy and Marina and all these characters. And then Thunderbirds, of course, Lady Penelope, Parker, the chauffeur, uh, Virgil, Dad, <laughs> all that. Tracy Island, the Tracy family. Um, so, Scotty, my neighbour's starring in the Jonathan Watson show. So there you are. Um, a good comedy actor. Good, excellent stuff. Very pleased to hear it. I know Jonathan very well. We were at college together. Graham Loud in there. Tremendous. And um, the same as the end of the world. Rubbish. Um, I still woke up to let the cat in, says Angie Thompson. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the end of the world is nigh. Well, we're still here, you know, from that point of view. Now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster with a global television show live on Facebook Live. All right. One of the world's great broadcast platforms. And uh, last week we had thousands upon thousands upon thousands of you came and joined us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Share everything with Scotty McClue on it. Let's build and build and build the World's Top Talk Show. Yeah? Let's demonstrate to the television and radio companies that it's all about content. It's all about individuals. It's all about talking to the people and the people talking back. That's the future of broadcasting. Big personality, radio and television. All right? And top music. I love Peter Heed, says Alan McMillan. Uh, he's a fine chap, isn't he? No, lovely place, Peter Head. And the people, of course, super people. Shug Plunkett's watching. James Barr, dinky he do, the taxi man. So at the end of the world, hopefully we're not having that one at the moment. Uh, Alan Leslie Lumsden says, wise man. Thanks very much, Alan. Very important. Hello, Happy New Year from East Bride Taxi Owners Association from Jim and Lindsay. Taxi anyone? So they are. If you're wanting a taxi, guys, then you can ring the Taxi Owners Association in East Kilbride. But remember, this is global. So, you know, if you're going from Delhi to New Delhi or whatever, it might not be the best answer. Peter Reed, free Peter Reed. This is Mark Simpson, absolutely. Andy Taylor's watching, and Ian Robb, lovely to have you with us. Brian Dennis says, that's because you're not on it. Sorry, what are you talking about, Brian? That's because you're not on it. So there we are. Not as not on what? Not on the booze or, or not on not on the radio, not on the television? What 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 are you actually saying, Brian? So there we are. Shirley Cooper, Dinky Doo, Rod Hardesty, one of the finest wizards of the big switchboard, my first wizard of the big switchboard, excellent producer and a terrific broadcaster. Rod's got his own show called Classics We Love. And um, he uh, sends that off round the radio stations in the northeast and down south. So listen out for Rod Hardesty, Classics We Love. I hope I've got that right. It's not Classics You Love. So there you are. Sometimes they get mixed up. Um, I'd rather watch you than some of the Shecht on television, says Alan Leslie Limsden. Thank you, Alan. That is a vote of confidence because what have you got here? An ordinary guy. What have we got out there? beautiful people all right put the two together you get a terrific mix you get broadcasting as it should 
B. You get proper public access television. Pat, I was responsible for uh, bringing in public access radio across the internet. And uh, I love doing it. I know I'm no oil painting. I know I'm not the biggest talent in the world or whatever. But I'm very interested in seeing what works. And this works. And we like that. So there you are. Tremendous stuff. Um, Carol Carlos Donnelly. Dinky do. Jim Wilson. How about a big hello to St. Margaret's High School in Airdrie? Yes, the Facebook page for the 60s, 70s and 80s guys. All wonderful people, Scotty. Yes, I know St. Margaret's in Airdrie. So there we are. Wonderful school. Excellent stuff. Okay, Jim, no problem at all. Uh, Ryan Hagen, Dinky Doo, Russell Cho. Glad you came, uh, says uh, Russell. Fantastic. No problem at all. Uh, Carl, Carlos Donnelly. Happy New Year, Scotty, from Carlos. And Happy New Year to you, Carlos. Here's Rod Hardesty. I'm undecided whether to watch you or Jackie Bod on the telly, says Rod Hardesty. Well, it's entirely up to yourself, Rod, but uh, you're very welcome to stay and watch me. That's all I'll say to you. So there we are. If that helps with your decision or your indecision. Uh, so there we are. Ian Walker. I was going to first foot in Kirkcaldy. But I can't get a bit of linoleum because they don't like the coal. So I'm going to Dunfermline instead. They'll welcome you there. And to Carnegie's birthplace. Tremendous stuff. The Carnegie Libraries. A happy new year from Carlos. So there you are. I think you mean new year. I thought it was a cat that had come on there, to be honest with you. Fantastic stuff. Now, by my reckoning, yes, which is not too far out, We've got about 18 minutes to the bells, guys. Is that right? 18 minutes to the bells. Does that make sense? That's by my reckoning. Are we having a bit of Jimmy Shand after the bells, Scotty? I wish we could. I would love that. I would love us to have a bit of Jimmy Shand after the bells. Tremendous stuff. And new, new, yes. Happy New Year, says Carl, Carlos Donnelly. Fantastic. Uh, who's to say the figures aren't censored? Who says they aren't artificially inflated, says Gary Williams? No, no chance of uh, being artificially inflated, Gary. What would be the point in that, right? There you go. That's not the business model. Remember, the business model is all to do with um, getting the right figures, and then you have to build them. So there we are. Right, so what's going on here? What is going on here, guys? And uh, what have we got here? Right. Oh, can you still hear me? This seems to have frozen. Seems to have 